Obviously, we've known each other a long, long time. Yeah. But you're you're a very private person, you know. So are you? Uh, yeah. And but but you know, doing these interviews sometimes can feel um, false or kind of forced in front of an audience yeah. because I know you're being honest and you're telling me what you really feel, but there's an audience here watching us. Right. You have right. to monitor yourself, I think. Uh, and also, there's a little bit of a performance energy, and sure. you're putting on a face for the faces that you meet. Well, I'd love to take a moment just to talk to you in a, a more personal, like close way, like in a private space. I, I would really love that. <laughs> well, I'm so glad to hear that. Join us now in The Late Show's personal space. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Longtime viewers will know this is The Late Show's personal space. Steve Carell, I'll see you in the box. We've known each other for 30 years, <laughs> right? 1988. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, Steve, what was your first impression of me? Well, if I'm completely honest, you were very handsome. <laughs> you were talented, intelligent, and there was a certain joie de vie you had <laughs> that felt like it, it, it was just different than the other guys at Second City. Oh, thanks so much, man. Um, what was your first impression of me? He is going to be so handsome in his late 50s. <laughs> I mean, really, that guy's going to blossom. That's so Why nice. did you wait so long to get sexy? You know what? I just, I just figured it was, it was about time. Mm -hmm. You are aware that now you are a hot salt and pepper zaddy, right? You have to have heard this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't get out of the box. You're, you're stuck in, in the box. You're embarrassing <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, are you ever sick of people quoting The Office to you? No, I love it. That's what she said. <laughs> Can I admit something to you? Oh, you can, and it's the personal space, Steve. The components of both of our breath <laughs> is really warm. It is, it is getting a little steamy in here. Would you, would you, would you like, uh, you, you used to be, you're famously uh, a bit of a sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Would you? It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. Would you, would you like a fan? Sure. Do you have a fan? <laughs> How's that feel? Is that good? That's actually, feel good? That's actually a lot better. That is really dangerously close to my right eyeball. Is that a rubber tipped mm -hmm. fan? Uh, let's find out. Let me check. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Would you? Would you, would you like a mint? Yeah, like, I would like a mint. Oh! <laughs> I have a feeling... <laughs> I have a feeling that this is going to be a meme. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do that anymore. Okay. <laughs> It really is, it's really good to see you. It really is good to see you, too. Yeah, can I ask you a, a question, and I want you to be honest? Sure. I mean, when I, was, I was joking before, but you really, you look fantastic. You've just aged well, like a, a, just a, a fragrant cheese. And <laughs> Thank you. You really, you look fantastic. Do I, um, do I look old to you? Do you look old? No, you look fantastic, too. Steve. You look exactly Steve. in... <laughs> Steve, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Just... Be honest. It's important to me. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Okay, I'll be honest. You do look great.
Why'd you switch to drama? You're the, you, you are one of the funniest people I know. You can make anything funny. Why did you, is it, why did you become a dramatic actor? All I want is to be respected and to be pretentious. <laughs> You're halfway there. Steve Carell, everybody. We'll be right back.